this view in the utility space, and we do a lot of wood pole inspection work as well. Uh, almost everyone inspects their distribution system on the on the wood pole side, and and you know a lot of that is aging infrastructure as well, and you have rot and decay. But a lot of folks in their minds think of the non wood products that they last forever. Oh, look mm-hmm. at this big steel pole. Look at this big concrete foundation. Look at these anchor bolts. They're just gonna last forever. What, what we find is that's not true. I mean, those structures, they do great on a different timeline maybe than a wood structure does, especially a, a wood structure in the southeast where you have a lot, a lot of rot and decay. But they still degrade. Yeah. And, and what we're finding is utilities now are, are being awakened to this, this new uh, component of kind of O&M that they need to be thinking about as a lot of that non-wood infrastructure is now becoming 40, 50, 60 years old. And they've really never looked at it in any detail. Maybe they do a patrol inspection or, like you said, a running inspection. You see the hole in the pole. Uh, that's, you know, those things they will pick up. But it's all of these other small defects that could be easily and cost effectively addressed early if they're caught early mm-hmm. um, that oftentimes just go too far and then become very, very expensive uh, failures later. Well, it's, it's true. And you've seen it in the news, whether it's fires mm-hmm. uh, that may be traced back to hardware or hardware connection that is worn, um, or highway crossing structures that have, um, that have not necessarily aging infrastructure, but um, uh, relatively new structures that have been in service for 10 or so years mm-hmm. that have some sort of latent defect that is uh, now propagating to the point where it'll drop a conductor. And, and those, uh, those inspections and the attention that utilities are able to put on those, there's a lot of, of work recently with resiliency and storm hardening. Mm-hmm. And storm hardening uh, is, is very difficult to pay for, mm-hmm. but it's obviously very tangible to the public and to the permitting entities to help utilities l- look at their assets and their li- lines with their eyes wide open, sometimes for the first time in many decades, yeah and give them an avenue to be able to maybe capitalize some of the investment that needs to be made in the existing infrastructure. And that's encouraging to see. So I brought up a couple of different things. One is aging infrastructure, hardening, uh, end of warranty inspection is something uh, that utilities should look at because many of the failure investigations and situations we get called out on aren't necessarily 30, 40, 50 years That's old. Right. They're three, four, five years old. Yep. And, you know, we both come from a, a structure manufacturing background. And, you know, we as manufacturers always did a great job of keeping warranties relatively small. Uh, I think the industry uh, standard is still a year or two on material that should last 40 or 50 or 60 years. Exactly. And that's a long time for that utility that's going to be maintaining and owning that asset. Um, and certainly thinking about an end of warranty inspection, your utility is much better off knowing they've got a problem while they still have a warranty than a month or two or two years later. And it's only in year four, year five of owning that asset. Well, now you've got to deal with this thing that, you know, this asset that you should maintain for the next 40 or 50 years. That's an expensive proposition. Um, and we've been involved on both sides of that coin, you know, helping utilities find a problem before warranty expires and saving utility hundreds of millions of dollars uh, versus the opposite where they engage us because they see some problem five or six years into owning an asset. And now they're spending tens of millions of dollars to resolve the issue themselves. Uh, that's, that's not a fun situation for a utility to be in especially when with really low cost dollars of really targeted inspections, you can know what you have. And, um, you know, you can go to bed at night as a utility owner, knowing that you've looked at these assets and you know, they're in a good condition. And, and I think that's a lot of the message we're trying to get out there. An ounce of prevention goes a really long way to saving you pounds and pounds and pounds of headaches later on.